Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to be filming another video of my current reads. Last year I did a video that was recent reads and it was um, like five or six books that I had read within the last few months. So I kind of want to keep that going this year if I possibly can. Um, so I wanted to start out the year by showing you what I'm currently Just a reading. quick reminder um, for everybody watching that I now have a Patreon. Um, if you're interested in supporting the channel, um, I have been posting um, content on there even though I don't currently have any Patreon. It is by no means an obligation, just an option. I did make it by accident. I did have a video where I explained that a few months ago, but I did legitimately start making one by accident. Um, so if you would like to become a Patreon, go on over to that. The link will be in the description. Um, I also have a PayPal that I will link below. Again, only if you're interested. Uh, this content will always be free. Um, I just wanted to let everyone know in case they were, anyone was interested. I like reading multiple books at a time because I am very much a mood reader, which is basically like, oh, I'm not in the mood for this type of story. So I'm gonna pick up this one. So I'm very back and forth with what I read. That can sometimes make things more difficult when it comes to finishing books, but I'm really going to try to not read any more than three books at a time this year. That's one of my goals. The first book, the first book I am currently reading, and none of these are in any order, is The Diviners by Libba Bray. I was given this either for my birthday or Christmas a few years ago, and it's got gorgeous purple cover. Like, I absolutely love that. And I decided that, you know what, I'm going to get the rest of the books and start this on. So, there's four books in the series, unless I'm completely missing out on something. So, I bought the rest of the series and I decided to dive in. I'm very, I'm not very far I'm on page 42 out of like 500 pages. It's a very good book so far. I'm really liking it. It's set in the 1920s. And it's about this girl um, named Evie who has kind of like psychic powers and stuff like that. And she moves to New York to live with her uncle. There's also another boy named Memphis, I think. I think that's his name. But anyway, we only get one chapter with him so far. Yeah. Since I've only read one chapter in his perspective, I don't know what role he'll play in the story, but I'm really liking this so far. The next book is a reread that I actually plan on making a review for when I'm finished with it. It is The Bone Season by Samantha Shannon. This is one of my favorite series of all time. I think Samantha Shannon is a fantastic writer. She came out with the fourth book almost a year ago at this point. I bought it right away, but then there was about a three year gap between the publication of the third book and the fourth book. So on the whole, my knowledge of the series was a little rusty. So I was like, you know, before I dive into reading the fourth book, I'm gonna reread the first three books. I'm reading it very slowly because I'm nervous about, since I've loved this series for so long already, I'm nervous about how the reread will live up to my expectations. I wonder if it's just going to be just as glamorous as the first time around. I also love the smell of this book. The pages they smell really nice. But highly, highly recommend if you want to read Samantha Shannon. This is a series. She also has a standalone called Priory of the Orange Tree. That is a really, really thick book. It's like 800 pages. I have it on my bookshelf. <laughs> but yes, Prior of the or Priory of the Orange Tree. I haven't read yet, but I have it on my bookshelf and I plan to read it this year. 
third and final book that I am currently reading is The Eye of the World by Robert Jordan. This is a extremely famous fantasy series. It had been on my radar for a little while. However, I haven't read it yet, but they are making an Amazon show of it. So I was like, I want to at least read the first book before watching the show. So I had bought this six months, eight months ago, before, before I had heard about a show at the very least, but I had really wanted to read this book. And so I think this series has like 12 or 14 books in it. And I know that the original author, Robert Jordan, passed away and Brandon Sanderson finished the series for him. I'm also a big fan of Brandon Sanderson. This is really good. I'm on page 214. Um, it is a little bit of a slow burn though, <laughs> but I was warned about that before. Overall, I highly recommend all three books that I'm reading, although I haven't finished any of them yet, except for, of course, The Bone Season, and I will try to have that um, review up by the end of the month or the beginning of next month. So I hope you all have a great day. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.